What's up guys, Miss Kitty recently do a video and she has faced a lot of backlash in the media. Some of the people them say Miss Kitty a hypocrite. Some of them say she has pretty up things like she put makeup on her face. And on me say so, I have one video, I go play it, I can hear. Miss Kitty, nobody no business boy your age. The problem is you're a hypocrite. Now if you don't know, Miss Kitty aka Mrs. Wilkinson is a Jamaican media personality and has captivated Jamaican audience with her witty and warm personality. Now for the last couple of days she has been going live and um, it's, 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 been, it's been interesting. So yes, my child was conceived during our engagement. So all were calculate and uh, yeah, but a march of baby and that uh, yeah. No, Miss Kitty, the truth is this has nothing to do with your age. The problem is many people view you as an hypocrite and also a person that projects herself and her insecurities onto other people. Let me explain. Now many, 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 many years and moons ago, Miss Kitty was about body positivity and being comfortable with how you look. Because I want you guys to understand before la 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 la, you had fluffy to the world, which gave a lot of plus size females and even males the confidence to be comfortable in their own skin. Now everything was going fine until Yanni Curvy Diva came in the picture. Yeah man, she went from a size 18 to a size 16 just so. And when asked about it, she said, and I quote, um, this is not weight loss, this is just redistribution of fluff. Now, while receiving a lot of public backlash, you know, because this was 2014 at the time, you know, alkaline here, she posted a picture with a well known plastic surgeon who is a veteran at this point. The bandit that come like the all sparks of transforming Decepticons. <laughs> now, fast forward a few years after, Miss Kitty is about woman empowerment, about black queens and kings. She's at the very pinnacle of perfection and she's manifesting her dreams and her aspirations and that a black queen needs no king and we should break generational curse and to all honest to be completely honest i completely agree until i heard she said that if you don't have x amount of money you know if it makes sense you try i was like so 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 the reason why you try to empower yourself no fit no, if you help me clap. <laughs> but you know, uh, that's not bad because everybody have standard, everybody have them expectation. Until you borrow a little hile from a married senior citizen. I, I use it for your egg. But mistakes up, right? No, sir, because Miss Kitty is perfect. The world expects perfection. So, what she do? She deal with the situation like how she deal with her face. She put on a lot of makeup. You understand? I know you're on TikTok projecting your fears and your insecurity onto people. Listen, the honest truth is this. Not everyone wants to wait until they accomplish all they have to accomplish in life before they want to have kids. There's nothing wrong with that, but not everyone wants that. For many people, once they're comfortable in their life and they find someone they love, them settle down. That's not to say that your ideology of how this all should work is wrong. I'm just saying that seven a brother seven different minds because what i gather from watching your life is that if a female does not aspire to be something great she is doing a disservice to her kids listen there are many examples in society of a parent giving their child everything and them still just talk about to nothing. and you're a perfect example of not having much but still achieving greatness so you know what i mean 